It's episode 11, Married at First Sight, UK season 9, guys. And we are heading towards our second commitment ceremony. And most of the couples are all over the place. But I have to say, what really made me laugh in the opening few minutes was Lacey asking Nathan if anything happened at the dinner party last night. Bear in mind, last night was the night that Polly exploded in rage and anger. And... Nathan's response was hilarious. What happened at the dinner party? I want to hear it all. Um, I don't know. How was the atmosphere overall? Uh, no idea. There might have been a drama. Down at the bottom of the table, there was like a little, little something. I think Polly maybe walked out. Why? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm, interesting. It sounds like a lot went on last night, but Nathan, he's so chilled and like positive vibes. I don't think he was quite listening. Not gonna pretend I haven't been there. I've been there many times when I've been asked what happened and I can't remember many of the details. Perhaps not as uh, <laughs> vacant there as Nathan was, but I think it's, it's definitely a guy thing to, to forget a lot of the important details that women do like to know. Now, where are we with the other couples? Well, Alex and Holly are being very smug. They're convinced they're on the right track, and if their smugness leads them to the right track, then good for them. Casper and Emma are still pretty much in the same place, whilst uh, Adam and Polly are still in the same place. And, you know, we have Charlie and Eve, who are still really quite, yeah, quite fractured. And apparently, when Charlie was recording a piece to camera, about how she felt the situation was going. Eve was outside the door earwigging, which has made it seem like, you know, there is no privacy, no one can talk about their feelings. You know, what, what is Eve up to? I don't know. It, it, it's quite frustrating. And I think I'm not the only person getting rather bored of the Charlie and Eve trope. It's a bit, uh, it's, it's like I say, it's very repetitive. So let's see, who do you think is going to stay together? I know you're not going to write your comments right now, but I'm wondering if there might be some surprises ahead. It needs because so far it's beautiful. Oh, thanks. So for that reason, Avril, stay. Wonderful. Let me see! Oh, great. And Christina, always appreciate you, even when I am a bit of a nightmare, which I know I am. Um, you know. You're so supportive and you do reassure me well and accept me. That's everything. I have always, always wanted is to just be accepted for me. I accept you. Mm. So, for that reason, I am staying. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> right, spoiler alert. So, surprise, surprise, Kieran and Christina have decided to stay together. I know you're all going to be massively shocked. But then we have Adam and Polly, and of course, it's yet another uncomfortable conversation about <laughs> physical attraction and Adam is kind of dithering around the edges until Mel, the relationship expert, decides to just lay it down to him and asks him point blank, do you want to shag Polly? Which I suppose is quite a, well, it's quite a, quite a direct question, should we put it that way? And we're about to find out what his answer is. I think his answer is going to be no and I think he's probably going to want to leave the relationship. We shall see. What does physical attraction mean to you? Confused by the question. Do you want to shag her? Yeah, I would, but I just don't want to hurt her, so I'm not going to do it again until I know it's right, because that wouldn't that be using her? There's a lot of words there. We just want the basics here. I will have to eat my words, because the answer to that question that was directly put to Adam was, um, yes, he, he did want to be intimate with his wife, let's put it that way. Although he does do a great job of digging himself into various holes during this whole conversation where he doesn't really answer anything with any sort of commitment. And it gets worse when Paul puts another question to him about what would he say if another man walked in the room and said he wanted to pursue Polly romantically? Would you stand in his way? And he kind of answers by saying, well, yeah, if that's what Polly wants. I, I don't think that's the answer I don't want it to hear. Adam, yeah, is there at least a minimal level 
of physical attraction towards your wife? 100%. 100%. 100% is a little bit, yeah. I have to do feel like the last few days, like I have looked at her more and I thought, you know what, she's actually good looking. Oh my God. No, 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 best, more good looking. That was terrible. I told you I'm not good with my words. I don't like pressure. There's not many occasions where I'm speechless and Mel at the same time. Adam, hypothetical. Another groom comes in the door and says, Adam, I love everything about Polly. I'd like to pursue her, and I just want your permission. Mm. What would you say? I feel like right now, if that's what Polly wanted, that I would say, go for it, because I want her to be happy. because I feel like it's too soon for me to give her what she needs. Well, you've essentially just communicated to Polly that you would give her permission to go with another guy. <laughs> if she, if mean, that's what she wanted, obviously... Does she look that like that's what she wants? What I want, obviously, it, obviously like... but that was just me being honest. If you said you want this, I would be like, that, that is fine, that but I feel like that wasn't, it's still that was, too... That was asking you, they weren't asking me how well, I Well, that's me thinking of your feelings before mine again. But anyway, despite all this, everyone, they still both decide to stay. I, I don't really understand it, but it, they have decided to stay together, so, so there you go. A lot of work to be done, but not from me. So I've put stay. Um, just to see if it can work. Thank you, Polly. And Adam, what's your decision? My decision, because I feel like there's still that little bit of something missing. We are lacking that intimacy and that spark. I want this experiment to work. I feel like I've got lots of doubts, especially after the argument last night. But I feel like we get on really well. I would like to think that physical attraction can grow. So, for that reason, I put stay. Nathan and Lacey, yes, they're staying together. What, what a lovely couple. I mean, they're so sweet. And, and I, really, I really do mean that. I, I really do like them. I especially like Nathan. So I think, no surprise, you won't be shocked to hear that. Oh, and I'd like it to continue. So that's why I put stay. Okay. Well done. We just keep getting stronger and stronger, and you know, everything I've always wanted. So I've put stay. Yay! And then we had Alex and Holly, and Alex and Holly again. I I'm not buying it. I think they're fairly volatile. I think it will stay volatile, especially with what we know about Alex. But again, they've decided to stay together. But I'm just there's something about it that doesn't sit right with me. Or. We do have fun, and it does give me the reassurance that I've needed for a very long time. Okay. So for that reason, I'm going to stay because we slay. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what's your decision? So, I see a lot of good in Holly. I feel like she can bring the best out of me. I feel like I do bring the best out of her. It's just, we're all a work in progress. Maybe I acted a little bit impulsive last week. So, um, I'm gonna stay with my sexy milf. Woo! Because... <laughs> Gorgeous. Stay. Even though she does my head in sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, man. I am so happy that you guys are in a good place. Now we move on to Casper and Emma. And uh, Emma basically saying she doesn't feel any love with Casper at all. And then Mel stopping them at one point and asking, you know, what would happen if Casper had grabbed you, Emma, and wanted to kiss you? Would you want that? To which Emma replies, no. So I think, I think Emma may want to leave. But I've already been wrong tonight. And I could be hitting for my second wrong. If he was to just grab you and give you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't want it. 
in my head, I'm like, don't do that. So what do you think it's going to take for those walls to drop? I don't know, them? Mel. I don't know. I've never not had a spark, right? And I've never ever worked backwards from that before. But I don't know how to get there and I don't know what Casper can do to get there. Emma, it's interesting because last night during the honesty box you were saying sex is really important to you. Yeah, yeah. But right now what's important is the emotional intimacy. Mm. Let's call out the elephant in the room as well. You're not living together. Yeah. You know, right now you are in this experiment as mates. This is not mates at first sight. Mm. To move to this next stage of the relationship, whatever that's going to look like, mm. you've got to share space. And I'm wrong again because Casper and Emma both chose to stay, despite the reservations. I think this time it was Casper who was more enthusiastic than Emma, who seems to be despairing rather slightly, but pressing on in a very old-fashioned, gung-ho, British sort of way. Much respect to her. But you know what? Something might happen. Something might happen there, guys. You never know. Easy decision. We've had the best week so far. I can see progress. And I think we're really coming along. So, yeah, I wrote, stay. Good stuff. Good stuff. And Emma. Um, for me, I'm struggling with intimacy on any level. I can't see it happening and it scares the life out of me. How long is this going to last? But it's been so lovely to see you, what I think is your happy place. And I always see the glass half full, so I won't stay. Wonderful. Then of course we had Sasha and Ross, yes, staying together. They clearly love each other a lot. I had a great week with you really, really, really care about each other. So I always said, stay always. <laughs> Lovely, okay. Ross, can you top that? <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> when I first got my eyes on you at that altar, I thought, you're gonna be the one. Oh. Every time I wake up in the morning, I'm a happy man. Oh. I'd shoot. Stay. Then we had a really weird moment where um, Alex was looking at Holly rather creepily and stroking her. Just that I put that in there because I noticed it and I'm sure you did too. Then we had uh, Orson and Rochelle who have both decided again to stay together. Rochelle, she's a phenomenal woman. I think us living together now is, you know, the be all and end all really. Like, can we actually live together? Week one, I was tying her shoestrings. Week two, I was taking off her shoes. So I'm excited to see what week three is going to bring. So in that note, I've decided to stay. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm more used to sort of relationships that might be a little bit rocky, a little bit up and down. You know, it's just, I don't get that from you. Um, I don't actually have any complaints other than he maybe talks a little bit more than I would like. <laughs> <laughs> so for that reason, stay. <laughs> I, I'm still, still trying to work Rochelle out. I, I'm, not quite sure what she wants. She seems to be vocalising the fact she seems to want Orson to get a bit angry or to show his less agreeable side. I'm not quite sure why you'd want that, but he, he he's not doing that yet, and she, that's thrown her off a bit. Maybe her past relationships have been the problem here. But I am still concerned that Rochelle will eventually just up and leave when she's perhaps not getting out of this what she wants. But now of course we come to the central bit of the episode, the, 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 the main event, and that is Charlie and Eve. And say what you like about Charlie. A lot of people have noticed said in the comments that Charlie is quite needy. And yes she is, and we, we know why, because her father abandoned her and she wrote that letter which was very interesting, told us all about her, 
her past, but it seems that Eve is driving Charlie a bit mad. I mean, I think Eve's contradictions and the way Eve has painted Charlie is now driving Charlie to the brink. And now Eve has been caught in a lie and they're going to reveal exactly what that was, but I think it's to do with after the dinner party when Charlie was recording her personal moment to camera with the crew, Eve was outside listening at the door, and I suppose they're going to reveal that they know that happened, and that Eve denying she did that is, of course, a lie that she's now said publicly. You've got to be a liar on camera again for something that you actually have done. You've got your reality, and I've got mine. That is not true, Shirley. That is not true. That is not true. We can't. Charlie, it's okay. Eve, with respect, you've lied on the couch today. So we are aware of what's going on here, Charlie. And the three of us are all here to listen to both of you. Okay? Well, it's gone from Charlie and Eve to Charlie and leave, and now leave and leave, because Charlie and Eve both decided to leave their relationship and call it a day. I don't think anyone will be shocked at this. It had to end. Yes, Eve was caught in a lie, and then they explained why, or Charlie certainly explained why the relationship was just not working. I have done everything in my power to try it's just really in hard. the time that I get to try and show to you, you can trust me that I'm not this monster that you think that I am. Just give me a chance. Like Eve can be annoyed at me and upset with me and not trust me and step, take a step back but if I need the space or if I need to be upset or vent how I'm feeling to Eve, I'm not allowed I to. I always let you leave. Yeah, but I then you get, do everything. Then you get your defence up and you say that that's me being just horrible you're, to just you or bullying you, you or... or I'm not. Guys, I think, but can, I, can I just stop yeah. you guys here? Because I don't think either one of you are listening to each other. They voted to leave. And even when they were saying goodbye to the couples, you could tell Charlie just had enough and is talking over Eve. But... I gotta go. I'm sorry. I gotta leave. Alright, Charlie, we'll come to you for your decision. Yesterday evening, you went into my safe space, you listened to my interview, and break a barrier of trust. I spent this week giving 100% of my efforts and energy to you. Um, I'm not going to give my all to somebody that gives me 10%. So that's why I voted to. Things didn't work out good, but you are fucking amazing. But I really love you, and you are such great people, and you're a great person too, Charlie. And I hope somebody really not. I just hope somebody makes you very happy. Yeah, you so she deserved that. Thank you, guys. Obviously, I didn't get a chance to even for you to even get to know me on a because you know someone else decided to tell you all about me before you'd even got to know me. Um, He'd keep your head up held high, Charlie. And yeah, I think, I hope you all do really well, and I wish you all the best of luck in your marriages. I still feel like there's information missed because of the way Charlie says that Eve represented her to the group was wrong. And as we've discussed in the comments, you know, Eve going on about how Charlie would scream and bang on the door when she walked off, and I thought, well, we never really saw that. So did they actually film that? And they decided not to put it in the show and give Eve a bit of a villain edit, or... Did it actually not happen? And the fact that it didn't happen, but Eve, in her mind, thought it did, made Charlie go even more crazy. I'm not entirely sure. It was all a bit strange. But I think, to be fair, it's best. This is best. I think Charlie needs someone else, and I don't really know what, what Eve needs. I don't know what exactly Eve is looking for. But next episode, we have a new couple coming in, which I wasn't expecting, and then we have the in-laws coming over. So it's going to get even more spicy. What did you like about tonight's episode? What were you expecting? Were there any shocks for you? Any surprises? Let me know in the comments below and let us talk it over. Man to man, woman to woman, etc, etc. Dog to dog, if you happen to be writing comments with your dog, and I'll write comments back with mine. Thanks for watching as always guys, and have a very good evening.